Um, so this week, change of focus into the Challenge Cup. Um, I know as a player, I really enjoy the, the cup competition. What, what do you make of it from a coach's point of view? Yeah, we try and we try to keep it as normal as possible. You know, we try to prepare for, as you know, for each game as though it's the most important game of the year, which it is. Um, but uh, there is something special about the cup, that's for sure, Steph. Um, as you know, and it's everybody realises that. Uh, you know, it's a it's a win or <laughs> win or not win, and you're out of there. There's no second chances on it. So it br brings its own sort of pressures, it brings its own excitement, it brings its own sort of romance about about winning I suppose and the only way to do that usually is by performing well so you know our focus is about you know, performing better than what we did last week and probably the week before as well as there's some areas that we need to you know, make sure that we're doing a whole lot better but uh, you know the fact that it's a derby game as well you know, Adds a bit more spice to it, doesn't it? Certainly does. I think, um, obviously, I know, like I said, the last couple of weeks we've been we've been off our levels performance-wise. But um, obviously, like I said, in the cup, it's do or die. You know, I suppose we we'd take a bad performance, would you, to to get through to the next round? Not happily, no, not happily. You know that. Um, you know, we had a loss last week, and I I, I think we were the better team. Overall, uh, we got held up a few times over the try line, and uh, we made more metres and all those sort of things. But we just weren't fluent enough. It was a pretty disappointing changing room after the game, as you know. When we don't perform to what we are capable of, it it hurts, and it's you know it's also scares you a little bit about you know making sure that you don't perform like that again. So you know, hey, listen, would would I would I uh, re really want to uh, play bad and and get and win and um, yeah or or play really well and, and get knocked out. Of course you want to you want to still be in the cup, but I I think most of the time if we play bad, well that's the only time we can lose. So we've got to focus on playing well because when we play well, not often we lose. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like you say, I think obviously we come away with a win last week, but we was obviously disappointed performance-wise. Mm. Um, obviously, we've not had the greatest couple of weeks in, in training, bodies-wise, but I think it's certainly been a, a more intense week. What, what, what have you made of the training this week? A whole lot better, yeah, a whole lot better. We've got some more bodies back, more people who are capable to, to train. Makes a difference. You know, your skill levels drop, um, as you know. If, you, if you're not touching that ball and making those tackles and... You know, on a regular basis, and those things go out. You know, get rusty, and and uh, you know, last week that's how we were as well. I thought uh, you could tell uh, that we just weren't clinical enough in the way that we we were handling the ball in the week before as well. So, yeah, the fact that we've had more troops back on the park has been a big one. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I noticed this morning we was out on the field and we were stretching. Yours and Jordan Cox love affair is still going on. You're like a couple of love-struck teenagers at the moment. You you can't stay away from each other. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that anymore. Um, yeah, Jordan's a uh, bit bit uh, wearing at, at stages. Um, yeah, I do like a good laugh with him, and on adding, I suppose, and more so. And you guys give him a bit of grief and get me giggling away as well. But uh, he's certainly a character within the within the group. Awesome. Sweet.